Today, I cast my vote in favor of jobs. Jobs to teach our children, jobs to protect our communities, and jobs to heal the sick. An estimated 319,000 jobs nationwide. In New York alone, we are saving the jobs of 8,200 teachers who will stay in the classroom to teach future leaders instead of standing in an unemployment lines. Many claim that this spending will increase the size of our deficit. They are wrong. By closing tax loopholes that encourage large corporations to ship American jobs overseas, coupled with other programmatic cuts, the deficit will be reduced by $1.4 billion over 10 years. Many will also claim that this is a partisan bill. Well, again, they are wrong. Earlier this year, 42 governors wrote to Congress seeking this assistance, including 26 Democrats and 16 Republicans. Still, Republicans in Congress are more focused on deficit-enhancing tax cuts for the wealthiest Americans instead of economic recovery. Our hardworking middle-income families and small business community deserve better. I am committed to rebuilding our economy and creating jobs to move our country forward. Those on the other side of the aisle want to go back to the failed policies of the Bush administration that cost millions of Americans their jobs, their home, and their life savings. We have worked long and hard to dig our country out of this recession. While we are not completely out of it yet, this bill is another step of moving America forward in the right direction. I am convinced we need to take a more America forward and not back.